I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning in to our November issue of Inside Darley. You know, every October, I anxiously await the NFPA fire loss report, and the 2018 report just came out. We've attached a copy of it here for you. And really, the data show that the number of fires, we had 1.3 million fires, 500,000 of which were structural fires, was almost identical to 2017. If you go back and look over 20 years, it's down drastically. In 1997, for example, we had 3.2 million fires. The number of deaths, we had 3,655 deaths. We had 64 firefighters also be killed in the line of duty. And the number of, when we looked at the responses, the report shows that the number of fire calls was actually down to less than 4%. And EMS calls made up 64% of all of the times where a pumper or a fire station responds to a fire, 8% were false alarms. But the fires we're having are creating a lot more damage. Uh, in ter- in last, last year, in fact, there was $25.6 billion in damages in U.S. fires. A lot of that was caused by wildfires and, and also just the fires we're having are, are much larger. And in fact, last week in New Zealand, they uh, had their probably their largest fire in a long time. The Auckland Convention Center uh, was uh, was under fire. We the, the New Zealand Fire Service fought that for over three days. There are 40 uh, pumpers on uh, call. Every one of them had a Darley pump and all performed flawlessly is what we're told. So the great news there and happy to do our part. We're also happy to do our part on the wildland end where, you know, that's obviously the, the, the one area in the United States where fires have continued to grow tremendously. Well, this year's been kind of a relatively quiet compared to 2018. The last few weeks have been very dangerous out in California and the West in particular. Uh, but just about all of those fire uh, vehicles responding to those wildfires have Darley pumps, whether it's Cal Fire, Cal OES, BLM, U.S. Forest Service, you name it, they all just about uh, depend on Darley pumps because of our reliability and durability. And at the same time, because of that, those issues, we've got a lot more fire departments switching to Darley pumps. The most recent, of course, was uh, Toronto Fire Department. And Toronto, we just had our annual FEMA FEMSA meeting there in early October. And I'll tell you, it's probably one of the best meetings. James Long is uh, on the board for FEMSA. He did a great job organizing those speakers. But we had a fire chief panel, which included uh, Chief Robin Salmi from the city of Toronto, as well as Mark Pugnitis, Chief Mark Pugnitis from Naperville, Illinois, and a lot of other uh, great chiefs. But they talked primarily about the cancer issues that are impacting them, as well as fleet issues and everything. But clearly, cancer was a number and issue. And our second article here is an article put out by the Journal of Hygiene and Environmental Health and talks really specifically about the cancer risk when it comes to training. And I think the best speaker we had was Dr. Brian Brower from the University of Illinois. And he put on a uh, seminar uh, entitled uh, Human Behavior and Innovation, Strategies for Implementing Change. And in there, he talked a lot about the implications of cancer, but also talked about our flame fire uh, fire systems, flame trainer systems for fight, you know, using that as virtual reality for firefighting. And also our flame extinguisher, which is our latest uh, new product that can teach you know any citizen how to put out a fire using a fire extinguisher in very l- realistic firefighting scenarios. So we've attached some literature here for you. It runs under, si- under $6,000, which is a fraction of the cost of some of the other systems like the Bullock system out on the uh, out uh, out in the field. So reach out to Kevin Sofin at Darley.com or any of us at Darley if you'd like more information on that. You know, lastly, we're doing a lot of hiring here at Darley. We were growing uh, leaps and bounds. My assistant, uh, Don Youngren, who's been just a great right-hand person for the last over more than 10 years, has just done a great job replacing her as well as hiring a number of other folks. And, you know, it's interesting as we, we're lo- as a company looking at who's the right fit for us as a business. And we've really seen said we hire for attitude and aptitude. And, you know, as I look at Marcus Buckingham, I'd encourage you to go to MarcusBuckingham.com. He's kind of the business guru out there. Talks a lot about hiring and, and people. He said he, he tells a story about in a recent podcast about going to uh, the circus with his kids. And he, he sees these dogs on their hind legs and they're up, you know, walking all around. And he, he goes up to the circus master after and he says, how is it that you teach those dogs how to stand on their hind legs and do that? He said, well, it's really easy. I go down to the pound and I look at the the dogs who are standing on their hind legs. So we at Darley are really trying to look for the people who are uh, that as you uh, as we uh, onboard here at Darley. So hey, thanks for tuning into this issue of Inside Darley. If there's anything we can be doing to support you, we hope you reach out to us.